I've always thought of Derry as a money San Francisco. It's probably better because people from the north have such a hunger for life and for enjoying themselves and for welcoming people into our home. You're only a stranger but once, as loads of bars say at the front, and I'm definitely a stranger only but once in most of them. <laughs> I'd say my favourite thing about the north of Ireland is the culture of live music. Every bar you go in will have a live performance on and, and this Irish rom-com film where everybody's singing along to the songs. Some of the locals will just get up and sit and sing with them, mainly having the crack. I'm definitely not singing phrase on this. <laughs> the next pit stop is the Derry Garage mural. Naturally, has to be seen. Have to get your photo outside of that. My favourite place in Derry is probably the Craft Village. It's this little hidden village just off the main street. It's so beautiful and it's cobbled. It has loads of independent businesses and a lot of them are actually ran by young people. A lot of Irish traditional things you can buy in there are jumpers, fridge magnets, Guinness stuff. <laughs> What's amazing about Derry is being able to just within 10, 15 minutes to be on the coastline is so incredible. Some of the most beautiful views I've ever seen in my life. Obviously, anybody that goes to the north has to see the Giant's Causeway. It's like this mystical land and I really did get caught up in all the Irish old myths and fairy tales. And it does really take your breath away. Just crazy that that's on our doorstep. If you want to go somewhere and be part of the place that you're in, then visiting somewhere like Derry is definitely for you. People with no second thought give you a slice of their life and what it's like to grow up and live there because they are immensely proud of where they're from.